Hi everyone, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. This is Tina with Tina's Craft Creations. I'm on today with a Dollar Tree and Small Joann's haul. Um, I have picked up a few things at a couple of different Dollar Trees over the last few days. And also I did go to Joann's a couple of nights ago um, and I picked up a few things there. So I'm just gonna show you what I got from Dollar Tree first. Now again, this is from like a couple of different days and I picked up random bits here and there. So one of the items I picked up were some shamrock picks. This is going to be for St. Patrick's Day crafting. <clears throat> I also picked up some of these small storage containers from the craft section. I don't have any this size. I have the ones that are a little bit bigger and I just thought it would be good to have some of these on hand as well. Um, I'm not sure, by the time this video goes up, you may have seen a Target haul. Um, that I had picked up like a ceramic bowl. It's blue with this like cutouts of little bunnies and little paw prints. Well, what my plan was for that bowl was to use it as decor, but I wanted to fill it with little glittered Easter eggs. Um, so I'm just going to dump in, I bought three packs of these little eggs. I'm going to cut off the, um, the little uh, ribbons because these are supposed to be like ornaments. Um, so I'm going to use these just to fill that bowl. I also found a galvanized bunny I thought was really cute. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this thing yet, but I thought it was cute, so I picked that up. <clears throat> I found some little wood veneer um, bunnies and carrots, and I'm going to actually decorate these for um, just like embellishments. Now, um, you can actually fill the hole with caulk, uh, or not caulk, um, like putty that you would use to like fill in a nail hole in your wall. And you let it dry and then you sand it down and then you'll never know that there was a hole there. So I'm going to do that with these because I'm not going to use them as tags. And um, I might paint them and decorate them or something like that. So I picked up the bunnies and the carrots. I also picked up some really cute little stickers. I just thought these were cute. They're like little balloon animals. These I thought would be cute with like birthday, like mail. <clears throat> I found some new um, fabric. Um, I don't really sew a whole lot with fabric, but I just thought this would be good to have on hand for spring. This little, um, butterfly design was really pretty. Um, and I also picked up this one here. It's like a, like a melon pink with little blue, pink, and white flowers. So I picked those up. Um, I had seen Nikki over at Simply Home by Nikki haul these little powdered candy, um, carrots. And what she said she was going to do was empty the powder out and just use them for sequin mixes. And I thought that was a really good idea. So I saw these and picked them up. And she did say she was going to do something with the topper to make it look more like more like leaves. Maybe add some crepe paper and fringe it or something and glue it down to make it look like fluffy. So I'm going to try that as well. So I picked those up. Um, I did pick up some paper clips. I just thought these colors were really pretty. They're like a dark pink. Um like a burgundy, light pink, orange, like a dark blue, green. And um, I got the large ones and the small ones. And then I also picked up the push pins. And I just wanted to have these on hand for my craft room because I do keep paper clips upstairs in my home office, but I wanted to have these specifically for my craft room. And what I bought to keep these in were these little jars. I just thought it would be good to have these on hand, like, um, close by if I need to put something on my bulletin board or if I need a paper clip for something it would be good to have these in my craft room so I picked up two of these jars I'll keep the push pins in one and then the paper clips in another and then the last thing I got at Dollar Tree was some trim um I have never seen this many of the the sheer trims that um that they usually have in the floral section and I was recently playing with the Maggie Holmes um market square collection and a lot of the colors that I got will go really beautifully with that collection the first three are these shades of like pink and mauve so I got this really pale pink like a mauve pink and then like a darker like burgundy and now these are again they're a sheer ribbon but the colors are just absolutely beautiful and I think these will look so pretty with that collection um so it has a lot of like deep pinks and mauves and blues and greens so I got those three and then I also got um these will also go well with that collection this um yellow and like a deep green the yellow I thought would be good for like springtime and summer but I'm pretty sure that collection has some yellow in it as well 
And then I also got black. And I got this like light aqua color. So I got all of those ribbons. Um, this, like I said, the first time I've seen this many at one time at in a display at a, at, at a Dollar Tree. I got these all at one store. Usually I might see like one color of one or whatever, but I've never seen this many. They had like a whole brand new box of all of these. There were a couple of other colors. I think they had light gray and maybe one other color, but I don't remember what it was, but I picked up all the ones that I really liked. So those are the ones I got. That's everything that I got from Dollar Tree. I'm going to show you guys the things I got from um, Joanne as well. So I did pick up one sheet of this green um, cardstock that I thought would be good for St. Patrick's Day. This is just the coordinations um, sheets from uh, Joanne's. When I was there a few days ago, it was, I think, 40% um, off open cardstock or something like that. I don't remember the exact uh, cost. I got some shamrock trim which I thought was really cute. Uh, I also picked up some new beads. Let me just pull these out of the bag. Um, sorry, give me one second. I picked up these little smiley face beads. I thought these would be cute for summer projects. I don't have anything like this, and I just thought they were cute. They were, um, I think they were on sale when I was there, maybe 40% off or something like that. And I did pick up another strand of these really pretty heart beads. So I have those. And then the last thing I got were some more threads. Um, Guterman thread was on sale when I was there. Sorry for the bag noise. I'm just dumping everything out. Um, buy three, get two free. So of course I picked up a bunch. I was looking specifically for colors that would go with the Market Square collection because I was working with that one the other day. Um, but I just picked up several colors and I love the Guterman threads. It's just beautiful thread. They have tons of colors and I just, I love that company. Their thread is just beautiful. So I'm just going to show you the colors that I got. Um, I got this like pale pink and like light peachy color. Now these do look similar to some of the ones that I have already, but they're, they are actually different. These are, um, this peachy color is four, nine, Eight zero. Oh my gosh, focus. Okay, that one. And then this one is that pale pink. It's like a peachy pink and it is 5070. Oh my gosh, I don't know why my camera. There we go. Um, I got a like off-white, like beigey color. This one is 4660. I don't know why it's not why it's not focusing. Sorry about that. I got a pale yellow. I thought this would be good for spring. It's actually a little bit lighter in person than it is on the camera. This one is 1410. I don't know why this is just not focusing today. <clears throat> I got this like mustard yellow, which will go with fall and Maggie Holmes collections. Um, this one is 1610. Oh my gosh, what the heck is going on with my camera? One, six, six, one. I also picked up this like orangey brown, or it's like an orangey, like a burnt orange almost. This one is 1800. I picked up this really pretty like olivey green. This one is uh, 8740. Got this really pretty like dark burgundy. This one is 4780. I also got this beautiful blue. This one is, I think it's 6800. It's a little hard to read that one. And then the last one I got is this beautiful Kelly green, like a St. Patrick's Day green. This one is 7850. I just love this green so much. So those are the, sh the um, threads that I got, and that is everything that I got at Joann's. So if anyone has any questions, please let me know. If you have not already, I'd greatly appreciate if you would consider subscribing, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone.